Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. You're my clicker? Okay. <laughs> I would like to keep it there. I would like to thank Central St. Martins. I'm going to read because I don't want to forget anyone for inviting and hosting us. Thank you so much. And thank you to our collaborators, uh, Fashion Revolution, Ursula and Carrie. Thank you for the important work that you do. A big thank you to our ongoing partners, Adidas, G-Star, um, Chalik Denim, YouTube, Study Hall would not be, you know, what it is without your support, without your trust. Thank you so much for believing in what we do and trusting us in this program. Study Hall is powered by Slow Factory and the Bear Scouts, who recently merged, uh, and is now a yearly collaborator of the United Nations, supporting the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And I also want to thank Dresd, D-R-E-S-D, if you don't know them, look them up. Uh, for the set design that you see behind me uh, using reclaimed materials from a film that just finished filming last week here in London. Sustainability as a culture is our theme for our first international symposium. What is sustainability? And what does it mean? And what are we trying to sustain? Because as of now, the life that we live here on this planet requires 1.7 Earths to sustain. And as, as Adriana Galijasevich of G-Star once told me, there is no culture without subculture. And sustainability today is a growing subculture that we are trying to redefine, to own, to reclaim. Um, as it continues to grow, it is important that we infuse it with relevancy, values, and help it grow in the right direction. As growth and sustainability in itself is a balancing act. So here I come today, I have an agenda. My agenda is to inspire you all. No? No before? Oh yes, that's true, that's good. <laughs> yes. My agenda is to inspire you all to be more responsible and to redesign the existing system we operate from with these two simple principles, good for the earth, and good for the people. And in order to do so, <laughs> I lost my track. And in order to do so, one, we must understand this complex system by zooming out and looking at the big picture. So we're zooming out. <laughs> what we usually do with complex data points is to use tools like mapping in order to turn raw data into information. And from that point on, turn information into knowledge. When we look at the fashion or product industry and map all trade routes for both resources such as cotton, silk, wool, plastic, aka polyester, and labor, these routes map identically with colonial routes. Colonial, colonialism is not a thing of the past. It is an economic reality. When we keep half of the population of our earth in an economic oppression, extreme poverty, and dependent of foreign employers, we perpetuate colonial systems of oppression that were designed with the belief that non-white peoples were serving with skills, labor, and manpower for the empire expansion of the time. Except time may have passed, but the systems remain the same. As our humanity has known significant progress, it hasn't yet tackled redesigning the very system in place based in unsustainable practices, philosophies, and processes. Two, once we mapped our complex system, we are now able to identify, mind you, at a very high level, the risks in which brands, corporations, and society as a whole is facing with this existing system. From waste colonialism, the dumping of our garbage in developing countries, to environmental racism, the, the, the impact of our environment affecting black and brown people all over the world. According to Oxfam, the richest 10% produce half of carbon emissions, while poorest, the poorest 3.5 billion account just for a tenth. Three, in order to be guided to understand this raw information, we must elevate data into knowledge and then into wisdom. 
And how do we do that? We set goals, <laughs> high goals, big goals. So I curated and built the study hall series as a sustainability literacy institution. Each symposium is designed to gather voices from different fields, different cultures, different ethnicities, and open up our perspective to adopt a global one. We encourage an open dialogue and intellig an intelli intelligent and intellectual debate of important notions, philosophies, and theories. And we do so without shame or without guilt. Our approach is intersectional, post-colonial, and international. From a global perspective, looking at the rights of our earth equally to the rights of our people. And with that information, our actions. And one of my favorite goal is goal 17, which is partnerships for the goal, which is what we did today to be able to put this together. Partnership with our you know, partners, Adidas, G-Star, Chalik Denim, YouTube, partnership with the Fashion Revolution, Central St. Martins, and the recent partnership that I'm very proud to, uh, to talk about and to announce is the partnership and the uh, collaboration with the Bear Scouts. The Bear Scouts is a responsible sourcing and manufacturing company, consultancy, and more. And uh, they focus on uh, innovation from the thread to, uh, to, to waste, essentially. Um, and so, next slide. <laughs> Slow Factory as an institution has been focused on from waste to fashion in the past years. We've been studying this process and how we can take back pro like do take back programs and work with the amount of uh, overproduction that we currently have on the planet. And instead of using raw resources or instead of using um, virgin materials, how can we effectively begin to use waste as a new resource? So I encourage you to take notes during this symposium and to share them. And if you do so, please use these hashtags. Next slide. In order for other people to access the information that is being discussed here. Although we are live, we would love to hear from your different perspectives. Sharing information is sharing knowledge. The conference is live streamed. Study Hall is an open learning platform accessible to everyone interested in this very young field of study. Thank you all for joining us. Please help me welcome Wilson Oriema, who is an author, a poet, a writer, a model, whose work looks into our consumerist culture and our relationship to the world around us. Thank you so much. <laughs>